Hi, let's talk about Arconic. It's quite a big company, reaching almost 4 billion in market cap. So it's a company that manufactures and sells aluminum sheets, plates, extrusions, and architectural products in the United States, Canada, China, France, Germany, Hungary, Russia, United Kingdom. It's trading 57% below the site's estimated fair valuation. Earnings are forecasted to grow over 48% per year. There's also risks. There is a significant insider selling over the past three months, and also interest payments are not well covered by earnings. So they have quite a big, quite big uh, depth. And let's take a look at the share price. So latest news: there was uh, some of them. Earnings updates, debt financing, and shelf registration that made uh, market performance in one year return 122%. Quite big, beats the industry, beats the market, and also long term price volatility considered as lowest. Valuation side, so as I said, 57% undervaluated. Based on simple Wall Street, it should be around $80 per share, but also we have the tip ranks, with, which <laughs> has pretty, not so big in the price target. So 38, in good scenarios, $48 per share. So currently based on the tip ranks, 10% upside. Similar numbers have the market watch, which has in good scenarios, 50, in bad scenarios, 28. On average 42.75 so it's kind of volatile it's uh, dropping once again there's a two lines so it's beginning from the October last year usually this kind of so this is one of the upper trends and uh, there's a blue line so it says that uh, there's a high possibilities that it so usually tr uh, traders traders use those scales and um, the price could drop even to 20 between 26 and 28 if it drops down below the 32 so there's short term so the price could bounce back from the some around 30 32.5 it could possibly bounce back to over 40 even but if it goes even lower there's high possibilities that it goes down to 27 dollars per share this is mid-term trend these lines anyway let's continue to research simple wall street shows that future growth 48% huge growth forecasted and earnings per share growth is also forecasted to to increase but actually they have currently actual situation EPS one dollar and a minus let's take a closer look at here so earnings per share currently last 12 month one dollar per share but here we see some of the other, uh, actually it's September uh, last year, but uh, isn't it this situation, March 31st, minus one. So I'm, I'm not quite sure why this is actually different data as we see here. Past performance, uh, historical annual earning growth, decreased by 38 percent and currently the company is unprofitable and that is serious situation for long-term investors financial health side we see here the depth level is actually more than the equity level and do they have cash yes a little on the halfway debt to equity ratio is 60 106 uh, percent so neither the equity or the cash level is not covering the level of depth so they could finance that possibly printing shares out or taking more depth or i don't know 
how the Kameni will, will survive this kind of situations. Balance sheet looks like this. Physical assets almost 3 billion, inventory 1.2 billion, receivables 951 million, cash short term investments 763 million. And they do have paying uh, dividends and current, uh, well, actually, it's forecasted dividend yield 0 0.52. I'm not quite sure is it uh, forecasted yeah here it is 31st of December end of this year it's forecasted that they will pay dividend yield 0 0.07 dividend per share 0 0.025 <laughs> annually so this is kind of weird but there is a uh, it's forecasted and it's forecasted that the uh, future payout to shareholders would be 8% would pay as a dividend from the earnings. Anyway, let's take a look at the insiders who were selling and actually there is a buyer also. Mostly individuals, yeah. Not a significant of amounts, but uh, last month Mark sold. Yeah, max price $35 per share. Ownership breakdown, institutions hold mostly $85. Hedge funds 9.4. General public 4.4. Insiders 1.1. Actually, we see here the top shareholders. Everyone is adding. Vanguard is adding. BlackRock is adding. Last reporting holding date, 31st of March. Yeah, I mostly green, so there's a few few institutions that have been decreasing Goldman Sachs uh, minus 21 anyway highly volatile share it includes some of the risks as we can see on the max side so those who invested yeah they're up to 42% and uh, total sh uh, shares outstanding on the same level Total sales are volatile, but they are decreasing. Uh, last 12 month sales sales growth decreased by 19%. And investing.com summary the stock for long term investors as a strong buy. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and see you in a future one.